Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to wrap a tumbler here today. Um, as you can see right now, I already got my paper cut and I got it wrapped around. I am pulling it completely tight. Uh, just so you know, your fingers will hurt. Make sure you got the top and the bottom lined up. And I'm going to go ahead and tape the middle. And as I'm putting the tape down, I'm actually pulling very tight. And then I go to the bottom and I tape that piece. And then I'm going to go over to the top and I'm going to tape that as well. And from the video you can see, I use a lot of tape. And I'm gonna do this all the way to the other side. Yeah, I use a lot, but I'd rather use a lot of tape than mess up a tumbler. And I'm going to wrap the tape around the bottom rim. As I put the tape on, I'm going to pull extremely tight. And as I'm pulling, I'm looking to see if there's any air bubbles or any creases. And if there are, you're going to want to try to smooth those out as you're going around. I will go back and show you what else to do. And I do the same thing for the top of the rim. So right here, do you see that line? That is an overlap line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, little scraper here and I'm going to push out all those air bubbles that are underneath there. And <clears throat> I'm gonna do it the other side too. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. I think I had a little creases there or something. But I'm gonna push the paper down. So right here, I actually said it was the overlay on the other side but actually right here is the overlay this is where the paper stuck underneath you need to push all that air out down to that line I mean push it out and get that paper to be exactly on the tumbler itself it needs to be laying flat on that tumbler so do what you got to do use those muscles and push that all down and I'm going to do the same thing for the rim. I'm going to go around the tape and I'm just going to make sure I push all those creases out, all those air pockets out. Basically, you're just going to make sure, you know, you don't want no air. That's what causes the ghosting and the bad seams. And there I am doing the bottom, I think it is. Well, actually, that's the rim. All right. So I'm done doing that. And guess what? Now I'm going to wrap it with some butcher paper and more tape. Um, I'm not doing a very good job putting my tape on right here, but just so you know, I put painter's tape and I actually put it very tight. I was trying to do a quick video for you all. Um, I had so many people asking me what I do. Um, believe it or not, the tumbler did come out great, even with the bad taping on that part. But you know, when you put the painter's tape, tape really good and tight. And there we go. No need for me to show you how to put it in an oven. I think we all know how to, to put them in the oven. But there's my seam right there. It's a little teeny tiny bit off, but not that noticeable. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you need me to do another one and slow it down for you, do step by step, I will. And um, happy making your sublimation tumblers. Take care guys, bye.